Okay, let's see. Yes, impromptu live stream. Let's see if anybody joins us. Okay, um, while I'm waiting for people to come in, I'm going to do a shout out. Shout out to my channel members, value channel members. Let's do a shout out. And that is to the Shore Shannon Show. And all these are linked down below in the description box. The Shore Shannon Show, Team Ranger 92308, Froggy Went to Knitting, The Boss Life Online, I Am Tracy Lee, Designs by Cadbro, Norgus R, Edwana365, Mike the Ranger 92308, NJ Lawn and Hedge Cutting, Maria Van Bunderen, and William Aldridge. Shout out to those people. Let's see who's the first one here. Hello. Have Cheetah will view. Nice. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Hey, tomorrow's the first day of spring. I'm dressed up with my spring. Oh, yeah. So I want to give a shout out to who made this jewelry my my matching earrings and bracelet shout out to well um alicia one peaceful mind and i'm sorry she always changes her channel name like on a regular basis she keeps changing her channel name so i think i don't know if she's called something different now but she has an etsy shop and she also sells things on ebay i bought this I bought this for her matching earrings and bracelet. It's very springy because tomorrow's the first day of spring. And compliments, I mean, shout out to Alicia, One Peaceful Mind, who created created this handmade jewelry, matching very spring, very springy like because tomorrow's the first day of spring. Um, she created this Alicia, One Peaceful Mind. Let's see who's here. Yes, have Cheetah will view. Hi. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm so glad tomorrow tomorrow is the first day of spring. Oh, yeah. Kick butt shout outs to some good people. Yeah, yeah. That's right. They deserve it. These people deserve it. That's good. You're doing well. And tomorrow is the first day of spring. It's so awesome. And where are you from? I'm from the Philly suburbs. Where are you from? And do you want to get started with my trivia game? Ge it's general knowledge trivia. You got a heads up because you're here first. So you're going to have a heads up. You're going to have, um, you're going to have a head start with the points. I guess I'm keeping track of points. You're going to have a head. You're going to have a head start with the points. Oh, you're from Michigan. Are you in central time zone? I bet you are. Are you sent? Cent I'm Eastern. Are you Central Time Zone? And let's get ready with the first general knowledge trivia question. And you got to you have a head head start right now since you're the first one here. Oh, he, it's a game. I got these are trivia questions from. I should have known that. Isn't that funny? It's a game called I should have known that trivia questions, and they have. They have easy, medium, and hard. So, of course, we're, well, I guess I'm going to try to start out with um, easy, medium. Oops. Ugh. And this is impromptu, so I don't know. I guess, oh, we got some more people jumping in here. Let me do, let me say hello to everybody. Oh, 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 Michigan. Sure, I can play. Yes, to, Oh, you're an Eastern. Oh, yeah, I thought a bunch of people were. Yeah, you're Eastern. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Eastern time zone. That's what I am, too. Okay. Let me get these cards situated, these trivia cards. Oops. In what Italian city is Romeo and Juliet set? Ooh, I think that might be a tricky one. In what Italian city is Romeo and Juliet set? Ooh, I think this one's a hard one. If I win, do I get my interview with you in May? Yeah. Oh, you're the one that asked, you asked me for an interview before and I told you. I yes, 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 yes. If you, yes. 
Oh, close. It does begin with a V. It does begin with a V, but it's not Venice. It begins with a V, but it's not Venice. Guess again. That's a very good guess. Guess again. An Italian city that begins with V. V as in Victor, like you said, like V as in Venice. Guess again. You're right, Verona. Yes, okay, you're, you're on the board now. Let me get my notepad. Awesome. <sighs> okay, okay, wow, you're, I think you're good at trivia, right? Hold on. On the board. I, I'm going to call you for short. Cheetah. Cheetah's on the board with one point. <laughs> you never know who's going to come in here, though. And they and then they can, sometimes they can take over. Excellent. You got that. I would never know that. I'd never guess that. I never even knew Verona was an Italian city. Okay. Wait a minute. Where... That, no, let me get that other card I was working on. If a response is said to be laconic, laconic, L A C O N I C, what does that mean? If a response is said to be laconic, L A C O N I C, what does that mean? What does laconic mean? Oh, I didn't. I didn't even know that. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that. What does laconic mean? If a response is laconic. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm trying to get get this on situated on my iPad screen. I thought I had it, and then okay, come on, because I have to zoom things up, and then I have to keep it within. Okay, hold on. Oh, you like trivia too? N nope, not sarcastic and dry. Close. Well, it's kind of... No, it, it's close to that. Okay, guess again. It's close to that. Not it's not sarcastic and dry, but just guess again. And your your pet is named Cheetah. Would you have a cat named Cheetah? It's a regular house cat named Cheetah. Is that right? Your your house cat is named Cheetah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, there's nobody else in here. Yes. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, you said short answers. That's right. Short and to the point. Okay. Second point. Whoever comes in here, you have two points. You have a head start, two points ahead of them. Yes, short and to the point. What fraction of a second are milliseconds? What fraction of a second are milliseconds? Ooh, I would have gotten that one wrong. Well, and then I probably would have guessed it again. What fraction of a second are milliseconds? Oh, you have a mixed breed. He is a cheetah and a brute. A cheetah? You mean a real cheetah, like a, a wild cat from Africa cheetah? That kind of cheetah? Or is there a house cat's name cheetah? I mean, is there a house cat? I didn't know. I don't know. Is there a breed? That's what I would have guessed. One-tenth. No, not one-tenth. Guess again. That's exactly what I would have guessed. No, millisecond. Guess again. Not one-tenth. 
And does cheetah mean wildcat from part wildcat from Africa? Cheetah? Is that what you're talking about? Milliseconds. Yes, that's it. That's it. A real cheetah. Your cat is part real cheetah. Oh my goodness. Really? I I watched a couple of your videos and I didn't I didn't learn that. I didn't learn that from I did watch a few of your videos and I didn't learn that your your cat is really part cheetah. Yes, yes, yes. It's a part it's um one one thousandth. Wow, I wonder if anybody else is gonna come in here. Okay, next question. The word Adam comes from the Greek at the Greek atomos, which means what? Ooh, that might be hard. The word the word Adam, A-T-O-M, A-T-O-M, comes from the Greek atomos, which means what? Ooh, that's a hard one. Ooh, I don't know. That might be too hard. Atomos, A T O A T O M O S. The Greek word atomos means what? Wow, that that is really a hard one. What? Oh, no, not center. That's a good guess. Good guess. Good guess. Okay, try and guess again. Or, or, yep, try and guess again. That That's a good guess, though. That's not it. It be, the, word, the word begins with I. I'll give you a hint. It begins with I. I Oops, I better turn this down. The word begins with I. Oh, you have no idea. Okay, I'll tell you. Invisible. That was a hard one. Invisible. Atomus means invisible. I would have never known that. That is really hard. Okay, we're done with that card. Ion. Oh, that's a good guess. Nope, it was invisible. Okay, that's okay. Let's say. What? Oh, this is an easy one. What brand? What? Well, maybe for men it's not easy. I think women know this. What brand is behind the iconic perfume number five? Yeah, the perfume is just called number five. What brand? What's the iconic brand behind the perfume number five? Men probably know this too. Hi, hi, Mary Lou, Loopy. Hi, thank you for joining us. We're doing general trivia. You can jump in anytime. So, Mary, yes, yes, Cheetah, that's right. Coco Chanel. Okay, uh, so now he already had that question. So, Jump in any time on these um, questions. We're going to the next question. Oh, that's a hard one. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my other one? I have trivia cards. Hold on. When you address when you address a letter with C O C C slash O. Oh, this is easy. And this is the easy one. What do what do the C and O stand for? Answer fast, answer fast. What when you address a letter with C slash O, what does the C and O stand for? How are you today, um, Mary Lou?
No. Oh, let me check if that's right. That's not what I thought it was, but you might be right. Let me check. No, not collect on. No, no, not. No, that's not it. Does Mary know? When you address a letter with C slash O, C slash C slash O, and then the person's name, what what does the C O stand for? I'm good. Taking a break. Trying to organize. Oh, that's good. Yeah, trying to organize. I, I, I try to organize too. Yep, that's it, Cheetah. That's it. That's it. Care of. In care of. Yes, care of. You're trying to organize your art supplies? Is it your art supplies you're trying to organize? Okay, next. Oh. If you have, this one is about an iPhone. I don't know if you have an iPhone. I'll skip that one because not everybody has an iPhone. Oh. Okay, here we go. What condition is Dustin Hoffman's character Raymond Babbitt affected by in the 1988 film Rain Man. In Rain Man, what condition does the actor Dustin Hoffman have in Rain Man? What Rain Man has what condition in the movie? What's the what's the disorder that he has in Rain Man? That movie Rain Man. Oh, Mary Lou, you need to refresh. Refresh your screen. Oh, yes, and get on live chat. I better get on live chat, too. Get on live chat and refresh your screen because you're behind. You're behind. You answered the question behind after we – you answered the question after we um already did it. Yes, you're right. That's right. Oh, Loopy, you're on the board. Mary Lou, you're on the board with autism. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Mary Lou. That's it. You're on the board now. That's it. That's it. Autism. He had the Rain Man had autism. Hold on. I want to see what happens if I change the color of my lights. Because it's a green, it's a green fabric behind me. I want to see if I if I push yellow, if I put yellow, does it make it like yellow green? I want to see what this looks like. Uh, that just makes it like. Yeah, that just makes, lights that up. I don't like that. Today, tomorrow is the first day of spring. That's why I'm dressed springy like today. I have my flower earrings, matching flower earrings and bracelet. Spring flower earrings and bracelet. Shout out, created by, shout out to... Alicia, One Peaceful Mind. She has an Etsy shop with very reasonably priced. A cheetah. Your background looks blue. Yes, yes, blue. Right. You guys refresh. Refresh your screen because that affects on how fast you get, how fast you, um, you can put answers in and also keeping up with like so that you don't fall be you don't lag behind it makes you keep up so you don't lag so refresh your screen and make sure you're on live chat live chat and refresh your screen okay and like in a few minutes we'll go on to the next question oh we're done with that card next card trivia question card oh this one's probably a hard one Okay, never mind. I'm not going to ask that one. If a stock increase, let me go into the next question. If a stock increase, in the next day falls. Oh. Who was the founding father? 
Who was the founding father of psychoanalysis? Who was the founding father of psychoanalysis? Oh, okay. You're going to switch to your laptop. Who was the founding father of psychoanalysis? That's right, Cheetah. What? Well, no, his first name's not William. It's Sigmund, Sigmund Freud. But you got the last name right. Sigmund, you got the last name right. As long as you got the last name right. Yes, yeah, Sigmund, not William Freud. It's Sigmund Freud. Okay, very good. You got a point for that. Route 66 began and ended in what two cities? Okay, the iconic the iconic Route 66 began and ended in what two in what two cities? Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, I didn't know that. But some of you you guys might know that. It begins and ends in what ends in what two cities? Route sixty six. That's Loopy. That's right. I mean Mary Lou. That's right. But your answer came in after um, cheetahs. We're. I hope you refreshed your screen, Mary Lou. Did you refresh refresh your screen because? Did you refresh your screen? Because um, your answer came in came in late. Okay. the The question is, in what two cities does the iconic Route sixty six? You know, Route sixty six that runs across the United States. Oh, if you're behind, then you need to refresh your screen, and then make sure you're on live chat. But more importantly, refresh your screen. In what two cities does the route Route 66 it runs across the United States? It begins and ends where? Oh, well, you got the other. You got that last question right. You got that in on time. Okay, I didn't. I don't know this one. I don't know if some of you might know this. In what two cities does Route 66 begin and end? Thank you for joining me today. Oh, I don't know if Cheetah's still here. Unless Cheetah is looking, um, researching the answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if Cheetah's still here. Hold on. What's this say? Wow, that showed up there, but down here. Oh, wait, hold on. Hi, Moo Moo Coo. Nice to see you. So nice to see you. Coming to us from Venezuela, right? Venezuela. I always forget if it's Brazil or Venezuela. Okay, just happy Friday to you too, TGIF. Oh, Oklahoma and San Diego? Nope. Yeah, this one's a hard one, I guess. Nope, it's not Oklahoma. City and San Diego. Nope. Okay. Well, nobody got that one. It's Chicago and it's, well, let me read, let me see which one it is. It's Chicago and Los Angeles. That's, I guess that's a hard one. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this one's easy. And what city is LaGuardia Airport? LaGuardia, LaGuardia Airport. And what city is LaGuardia Airport? Oh. That's right, Mary Lou. You got it. You got it. New York City. That's right, Mary Lou. 
You're not looking up? Oh, because when I play trivia, oh, when I play trivia with my friend, um, and nobody, uh, and I nobody was guessing the answer. We would everybody would start looking it up. Oh no, 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 no. Well, that's a good guess, Mumuku, Mexico, because it is a Spanish name. No, it's New York City, but that's a good guess because it's Spanish. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, let me see. Let me see this answer. Oh, I didn't know that. I would have guessed wrong. What is the world's the world's largest retailer? What is the world's largest retailer? R-E-T-A-I-L-E-R. -E -E retailer. I would have gotten this wrong. What is the world's largest retailer? Okay, Mimica, you're on your phone. No, not Macy's. Guess again. Monsanto, guess again. I know that's what, cheetah. That's what I would have guessed. Amazon. Amazon's not it. Okay, just think of somebody else, another store that's really big. Yep, you got it, Mary Lou. Mary Lou, you got it with Walmart. You're on, okay, Mary Lou has three points. Cheetah has six. Mary Lou has three. Cheetah has six. And and um, and uh, Mumuku's not on the board yet. Okay, and on my screen, it showed that Mary Lou came in first. So on your screen, it might look different because everybody's screen is going to look different. So on my screen, it shows that Mary Lou came in first with Walmart. Okay, excellent. Next one. I would have thought Amazon. I, I can't believe it's Walmart. Oh, my goodness. No, maybe it's on definitely online retailer is Amazon online retailer. I don't know. I don't know what they're talking. Maybe they mean like, you know, mortar brick and mortar store. What city is the gangster Bugsy Siegel strongly associated with? Oh, I would have gotten that wrong. What is this? What is the city? What it? What city is the gangster Bugsy Siegel strongly associated with? I would have no. It's not Chicago. That's what I would have guessed. Guess again. Not Chicago. That's what I would have guessed. Nope. Johnson and Johnson. No, Mumuku, Johnson and Johnson actually don't have their, they don't have their own retailers, retail stores. But I know that, oh, Mumuku, no idea. Yep, you got it. You got it, Cheetah. Cheetah, Las Vegas. That's it. Oh, Cheetah said, oh, Mary Lou says she knows a lot of useless information. Okay. Um, Cheetah's answer came in first with Las Vegas. That's correct. With seven points, seven points now. I would have guessed Chicago. I didn't know that. Okay. Russia is the largest country in the world in terms of area. What country is the second largest? What? Really? Russia is the largest country. Oh my goodness. In terms of area. Russia is I thought I think I might have guessed China. Okay, here's the question. Russia is the largest country in the world in terms of area, but what country is the second largest? Oh my goodness, I would have never guessed this. What country is the second largest after China? I mean, I'm sorry, after Russia? What country is the second largest after Russia? No, I, it's not China. That's, that's what I would have guessed. Nope, it's not China. Guess again. I would have guessed China too.
<laughs> okay, it's not China. Guess again. Oh, it's not Australia. Yeah, you would think Australia or China. Nope. I can't believe this answer. It's not Australia. It's not Australia. It's not China. Nope. Nope, not Antarctica. Okay, I'll give a hint. It's not China, but it does begin with C. It begins with C, but it's not China. That's my hint. It begins with C. No, I said it begins with I begin I said it begins with C. C. Yes. Yes. Who got it? Mary Lou got it with Canada. I would have never guessed Canada. Yes, Mary Lou got it with Canada. She has five. She's giving, I mean, sorry, she has four. And she's giving Cheetah a run for his money with seven. He has seven. And Mary Lou has four. Yes, Canada. Can you believe that? Second largest in the world after, I can't, after Russia, in terms of area, it's Russia, then Canada. Wow. A second largest in terms of area. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this one's easy, I think. What was Hillary Clinton's profession, profession before entering politics? <laughs> what was Hillary Clinton's profession before entering politics? What was Hillary Clinton's profession before entering politics? Mary Lou came in first. Mary Lou came in first. Mary Lou's answer shows up first on my screen. Mary Lou's giving Cheetah a run for his money. Okay, Mary Lou has five and Cheetah has seven. She would put on it because I give, it says, Mary Lou, I've just put you on my Christmas card list. <laughs> okay next yes mumuku you're right but sorry you came in you, you came in after mary lou okay next question oh never mind, i'm not gonna add okay what is the name of australia's largest what is the name of australia's largest airline what is the name of australia's largest airline Cheetah got it. That's right, Cheetah. Con Qantas. That's it, Qantas. Okay, Cheetah gets the point. And um, Mumuku, refresh your screen. That'll help. That'll help your answers come in faster. That's gonna help your answer. You're lagging behind. I think you're lagging behind. So your answers will come in faster if you refresh your screen. Hello, Ann Wood. Anna Woods. Welcome. I think this is the first time that you come to my live stream. Um, welcome, welcome, and you can jump in, you can jump into our trivia game, we kind of just started a few minutes ago, you can jump in, Air Kangaroo, that's funny, Air Kangaroo, right, okay, we're on, okay, you can jump in anytime, and now we're on for the next question. Do a person's Okay. I think this one's easy. Do a person's pupils, like the pupils in the in their middle of their eye, do the pupils of your eye get larger or smaller with bright light? With the bright light, do your pupils get smaller or larger with bright light? Let me see if I'm right, because I'm pretty sure I am. 
with bright light, with the bright light, do your pupils get smaller or larger? Mary Lou was first. Mary Lou was first. No, Cheetah, you're wrong. It's not larger. Mary Lou is right. Smaller to keep out the light because it doesn't. The, the the eye doesn't want that bright light in there, so it gets smaller. And it gets larger to let more light in. When it's dim light, if it's dim light, your pupils get larger to let more light in. Mary Lou got that. Oh, she's giving Cheetah. No, wait a minute. Who got that right? Yeah, Mary Lou got that right. She's giving. She's gonna give Cheetah a run for his money because Cheetah has seven. Wait, Cheetah has eight. And Mary Lou has six. And we, we need to get Mumuku, Mumuku and Anna on the board. Yes, that's right. Smaller, you guys. Smaller, smaller. And refresh, refresh your screen. Refresh your screen. And make sure you're on make sure you're on live chat. Not top chat. Live chat. Live chat, not top chat, and refresh your screen. It helps your answers come in faster. Oh, uh, your connection is too slow. Oh, oh Mumuku, I'll give you a point. I'll give you a point. Mumuku, I'll give you a point. Yeah, that's a shame when people have like slower, I don't know, slower connections. Okay. Okay, we're on to the next trivia card each card has four questions Phil. Oh, no. what are the names of the, the god oh god what district oh my goodness these are hard what are Okay, this one's kind of easy. What are flower bomb, obsession, and daisy examples of? What are flower bomb, daisy, obsession, and obsession? Those three words, flower bomb, daisy, and obsession, they are examples of what? Of what kind of product? They are examples of what kind of product? Hi, hi, Barry. Barry comes to us from the UK. Welcome, welcome, Barry. Cheetah got it. Cheetah's answer came in first with perfumes. Yes, that's right, perfumes. That's right. Oh, that one had tons of hard questions on it. So hold on. I only asked one question off of that card. A three of a kind. A three. You're going to have to be fast on this one because I think this one's kind of easy. A three of a kind together with a pair. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reading the answer instead of the question. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Never mind, I'm not going to even ask, because the, the, the question was, what is a full house? And I was reading the answer. I was reading the answer instead of the question. What is the name of Don Quixote's source in Cervantes' classic novel? Squire, I mean. Okay, what is the name of Don Quixote's squire, S-Q-U-I-R-E, his squire, in Cervantes', Cervantes classic novel? What's the name of Don Quixote's squire? I, I, I don't know this one. I would not know. Cheetah got it. Hi, Alec. Hi, Alec. Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Thank you, Barry. Yes, I, I did hit 3K. 3k subscribers and it probably was gonna it's probably gonna drop and get higher and drop and get higher until i can 
get it like a like 50 over like if i can get it 25 an extra 25 then it won't keep dropping but it's probably going to drop and get higher and drop and get higher cheetah got it cheetah got it with um poncho yes poncho cheetah has 10. Hi, Alec. How are you doing? What artifact from Greek mythology contained all the evils of the world and, and hope? Oh, my goodness. Okay, here's the question. What artifact from Greek mythology contained all the evils... All the evils and the hope of the world. H-O-P-E. All the evils and the hope of the world. Okay. We've all heard this before, but I, I don't know if you can connect it to that question. What artifact, what, what artifact from Greek mythology contained all the evils and the H-O-P-E, the hope for, of the world? Oh, let's see who got this. I think Mumuku got it. She's on the board. Let me see. Did someone get it ahead of her? Wait, wait, wait. Who got it first? Oh, thank you, Cheetah. Yes, thank you for thank you. Yes, Mumuku's on the board. Mumuku's on. Oh, she's on. She's already on the board. I gave her a complimentary point. Yes, Pandora's box. That's right, Pandora's box. I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you, Alec. Thank you, Alec. Yes, I'm doing fine. And tomorrow's the first day of spring. I'm wearing my springy green, my spring gr springy green, my my springy jewelry. Complimentary compliments of um, not compliments because I paid for it, but created by Alicia. Her channel, unless she changes her name, because she changes her channel name a lot. Alicia One Peaceful Mind. She has an Etsy shop. And I bought and I own three pieces of her handmade jewelry that she has a very reasonably priced. And this is very springtime jewelry. Look, look at that jewelry. Look that and it's the it's pink, light pink and green, and it matching earrings. Matching earrings and bracelet. It and um it's created by a YouTuber. I like to support the small YouTubers with, with the things they create. I bought bought a number of things from small youtubers that have that bought, that sell things and it's very it's handmade and very reasonably priced hi diana brianne hi yes hello hello thank you mary lou Hello, hello. Yeah, it's a it's a small live stream. It's an imp it's impromptu. Oh, thank you, Diana Fairchild. Thank you. She shared it out. Awesome. And oh, let's see what how many thumbs up we got because I'll play the happy dance. Let's see how many thumbs up we got. Seven. When when we get ten thumbs up, I ten thumbs up for the happy dance. My crazy, wacky, happy dance. Stick, you can, okay, we're playing trivia, and Cheetah is, Cheetah is winning with 10. Mary Lou has six, and Mumuku has three. I mean, I mean, sorry, two. What two kinds of, what two kinds of nuts are used in a Waldorf salad? Oh, I bet Diana Fairchild knows this. Answer fast. What two kinds of nuts are, I know one of the nuts, I don't know the other one. What two kinds of nuts are used in a Waldorf salad? Oh, I only knew one of them. I didn't know that other one. There's eight. Oh, okay, there's eight. Uh, no, 
No, Mary Lou. Those aren't the two. No, Cheetah. Cheetah, nope. Nope, it's not pecans and almonds. Nope. It's not. That's not all the correct answer. Yes, it's walnuts, but walnuts and what else? It's not pine nuts. It's not walnuts and pine nuts. I would have guessed that too. I. Oh, hello. Sunshine people. Sunshine peoples. No, it's not chestnuts. It's two. What two nuts? What two kinds of nuts are in a Waldorf salad? Walnuts is one of them. What's the other one? Nope, it's not cashews. No, it's not walnuts and hazelnuts. Oh, my goodness. No. Apple is not a kind of nut. What two kinds of nuts? It's walnuts and what's the other nut? No, it's not walnuts and cashews. I I this I guess it's gonna be a hard one. I know it should be, right? It's a very common nut. It's a common nut. It's walnuts and another very common nut. No, it's not walnuts and chestnuts. No, it's not walnuts and hazelnuts. <laughs> no, it's not walnuts and pistachio. Oh, my goodness. It, it's a very common nut. No, it's not walnuts and hazelnuts. I, I can't. No, it's not sunflower seeds. You're going to. Uh, never mind. I guess nobody's going to get this. No, it's not pecans. Get he you know what is gonna get this. Guess what it is? Peanuts. Can you believe that? I never peanuts in a Waldorf salad. I thought it was just I thought it was just walnuts. So nobody got that one. It's walnuts and peanuts. That's weird. That's weird. Walnuts and peanuts. Three West Prince who have been assassinated. Name two, name, name two, two of the U.S. presidents. No, I'm sorry. Name two of the four U.S. presidents, because there was four that were assassinated while in office. Name two of the four presidents that were assassinated while in office. Okay, there's four of them. All you have to do is name two of them. She's flabbergasted that it's peanuts. Me too. I thought it was just walnuts. I didn't even know there was a second. Okay, hold on. Mary Lou says, Mary Lou came in first with Lincoln and Kennedy. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, Mary Lou gets a point. That's right. And all four of them was Garfield, Lincoln, Kennedy, McKinley. McKinley, Kennedy, Garfield, and Lincoln. Okay, what was Excalibur? Excal what was Excalibur in the Legend of King Arthur? What was it in the Legend of King Arthur? What was what was what was Excalibur? What was Excalibur in the Legend King Arthur? What was it? Mumuku got it. She came in first. Hey, you're not so slow. Mumuku got it. Her answer came in first with sword. Three. Three points for Mumuku. Yep. That's right. Good for you. Oh, Oh my goodness. I don't know that one. Okay. Some of you, I would never know this, but maybe some of you might know this. Wait a minute. What are Windsor, 
W I N D S O R Windsor. What are Windsor? And four in hand, four in hand examples of what are Windsor, Windsor, W I N D S O R. What are Windsor and four in hand examples of what are they examples of? Oh, is it 10 thumbs up? No, not bridge, not bridge. 10 thumbs up, time for the happy dance. No, it's not bridge. Guess again. And then we're going to time out for happy dance. Happy dance for 10 thumbs up. Welcome back. Yeah, bust a move. Yeah, right. Bust a move. Sunshine people. Yes. Here you will find the original, the only original Diana Happy Dance. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Mary Lou got the point for knots. Yes. Tie knots. K-N-O-T-S. Knots. Mary Lou got it. Yeah, bust a move. That's right. Bust a move. <laughs> What? The reproduces the letters of another. Oh, that, that question is like too much. It's such a long. Let me see if I. Oh, my God. I would never know that. I don't think anybody's going to know that one. I used to think the answer, the questions on these cards were too easy, but they're not, not all of them are. Okay, hold on. God, some of these questions are so long. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. What color is the number zero on a roulette table? On a roulette, on a roulette table, what color is the number zero? On a roulette table, what color is the number zero? Oh, if, if I do, Mumuku says, if I do the happy feet, if I do the happy feet dance, she will, oh, okay. Okay, I'll see if I can do it in the next few days. I'll see if I can do the happy feet dance in the next few days. And I'll let you know. Oh, hi, the LS, hi, LS crew. Hello, LS crew, you can jump in anytime. Oh, okay, we, okay, you did jump in. Hold on, let's see, got the, let's see who got, okay, hold on, let me get, let me scroll up and make sure, let's see. Okay, now let me see if and somebody got it. I see LS crew did jump in. No, it's not black. Oh, a number of you said black. Oh, here we go, sunshine people, sunshine peoples with green. Yes, green. Sun sunshine peoples is on the board now. Sunshine on the board with the first point. Very good. Hello and hello, LS crew. Oh, 
Okay, what is the capital of Finland? F I N L A N D. What what city is the capital of Finland? F I N L A N D. Finland. What is the capital of Finland? The country of Finland, which is next to Norway. Okay. Cheetah got it first. Okay, now let me tell you on my screen, everybody's screen is going to show the sequential order of who got the answers first. It's going. My screen is going to look different than your screen. So on your screen, it might the order might be different, but on my screen, we have to go by what my screen says. And the first two people got the answer right. It is Helsinki. I mean, three of you got it right. It's Helsinki. But Cheetah came in first on my screen. It's Cheetah. Cheetah came in first. And Cheetah was here. He was here for the first, like, he has a head start because he was he was here for the first 10 minutes of the live stream when I started the game. So he already has, a, he has 11 points. Mary Lou's giving him a run for his money with uh, eight points. Uh, Mumu, Mumu Koo has a three and Sunshine just got on the board with one. Okay, next question. And if you want, refresh your screen. It'll help your, it'll help your answers come in faster. Refresh your screen and make sure you're on live chat. Live chat and refresh your screen. Oh, oh, that's easy one. The next one is e. I think it's easy, and you're gonna have to answer fast. You're gonna have to type fast, because I think this next one is easy. We'll see. Hold on. Okay, here it is. What actor, best known for his role in Superman, died in 2004 after living for nine years with a spinal cord injury? What actor, best known for his role in Superman, died in 2004 after living for nine years with a spinal, spinal cord injury? Hi, FM. Welcome. Welcome, FM. I think you're new to my live stream, but, and welcome, welcome. You can jump in. Hold on. Let's see who came in first with the answer. On my screen, it shows Mary Lou came in first with Christopher Reeve. That's right. Mary Lou came in first with the with the answer on my screen. Mary Lou, good job. She's given Cheetah a run for his money. She has nine and he has eleven. Wait, let me scroll up. Who has a question for me? And hello, FM. How are you doing? You can jump in anytime. Cheetah said it first. You mean I was wrong? Son oh, you mean I said Sunshine had it first, but it was really Cheetah? I saw it wrong? Okay. okay. I Sunshine can keep the point. Sunshine keeps the point, but I also give the point to, che to Cheetah for Helsinki. Okay, hold on. Okay, Cheetah says, Diana, do you want to start a fresh round? So everyone, okay, all right, we can start a fresh round. And and um, Cheetah, I'll do the interview. I'll do your interview since you you won you won this first round. You won the first round. So yes, you. I'll do the interview. And what month? When do you want to do the interview, Cheetah? Let's start a new round. So Cheetah won the first round. Okay, let's start round two. Mm. 
Hello, hello. We have somebody else in here now. Phil, John. What? Oh, John Castillo. Hello, John. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can jump. We're going to start a new round right now of general knowledge trivia. Oh, May is fine. Yes, May. Yes, yes, May. The month of May is good. I call. Check on. Okay, Mary Lou has to go. Mary Lou has to go. Thank you for joining us, Mary Lou. Okay, so what was I gonna do? So, okay, we're we're starting. Okay, we're starting round two. What industry seen in the Mad Men? Mad Men TV series, the TV series Mad Men. What industry seen in the Mad Men TV series is traditionally associated? with New York City's Madison Avenue. What industry in Mad Men, the TV series, is traditionally is traditionally associated with New York City's Madison Avenue? Oh, Cheetah Cheetah came in first. Oh, Cheetah came in first with advertising. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> thank you, John. That's nice. I'm a 50 something year old woman, so I like to hear that I'm I like to hear that. I like to hear that. No. Cheetah came in first with advertising. That's it. Yes, I like to hear that since I'm a 50 something year old woman. I love hearing that. <laughs> Okay, we're done with that card. Okay, the legendary escape artist Houdini, real Houdini's real name was Eric, Eric Weiss. But he became famous using what other first name? Oh, Okay, Harry Houdini. Oh, never mind. I just said the answer. I just said the answer. Houdini's first name was Harry. Never mind. What was the name? Oh, this one I think is kind of easy. You're going to have to type fast. What was the name of the group that included Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. What was the name of the group? What was the name of the group that those three guys were in? Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and Dean Martin. Yes, sunshine. Yes, I did. Yes, I just yesterday I made 3K subscribers, 3,000 subscribers. Yep, thank you. Yep, I just... I just made it yesterday. That's right. I just, yeah, I just got it. Okay. Whose answer came in first? Cheetah's, Cheetah's answer came in first. Cheetah, the Rat Pack. They were called the Rat Pack. Yep. They were called the Rat Pack. Oh, who was America's, or let's say, who was the United, who was America, the United States, Second president. Who was our second president in the United States? Who was the second president of the United States? I didn't know this. You were first? You were... Mumuku was first. Never. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mumuku was first. Never mind. I'm sorry. Mumuku's on the board.
Oh, Mumu, I'm sorry, I saw that wrong. Mumu Koo was first with the Rat Pack. Who was United States second president? No, not Rosenberg. Not Anderson. Not Thomas Jefferson. Nope. No, it's not Lincoln. That's what I would have guessed. No, it's not Lincoln. No. Alec, you don't need to no you don't need to keep advertising yourself. You can say it once, you don't have to keep saying it. You don't need to keep saying to go people to invite people to your channel. No, not Hoffman, not Franklin, not Lincoln. Cheetah didn't make a guess. Is it Cheetah still? Oh, Cheetah guessed Thomas Jefferson. Nope. Okay, should I just I say nobody got it? It was John Adams. Nobody got it. I wouldn't have never known that either. Okay, whose life? is the film Walk the Line about. The movie Walk the Line. It's a movie called Walk the Line. Who's, whose life was that about? Whose life was that about? Walk the Line. At 15, th at, for, at 15 thumbs up, I do the happy dance again. The crazy, wacky, happy dance. Happy dance again at 15 thumbs up. Cheetah was first. Cheetah was first with Johnny Cash. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yep, Johnny Cash. It is a well-known watch brand. And also, it is a this this word this name is a well-known watch brand. And also, the twenty-fourth and last letter of the Greek alphabet. What word is it? What word is it? It's the name of a well-known watch watch brand, but also. It is also it is also the 24th and the last letter of the Greek alphabet. What's the word? No, not 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 Tysot. No, whatever that word is. T I S O A T. No, not Tysot. Not Hamilton. No, not Hamilton. It's a watch. It's a name of a, a very well. Hold on. Oh, hello, Cliff. Yes, it's Omega. Cliff comes run. Comes blazing in here with the correct answer. He's on the board with Omega. Hi, Cliff Madison. How you doing? Yes, Cliff. Cliff gets on the board. Cliff Note gets on the board with Omega. That's the correct answer. How are you doing? Old friend, old friend here. I have new friends in here and old friends. Yes, hello. Okay, next. How are you doing? Okay, next question. General knowledge trivia. Oh, this one is easy. You're going to have to type it fast. You're going to have to type fast. What combat sport... Is MMA the acronym for? What combat sport is MMA the MMA the acronym for? 
Oh, that's a, it's kind of a long word. You have to type that in. <laughs> Okay, what combat sport? Yeah, it's gonna it's long word to type in. What combat sport does MMA stand for? What's the acronym? It's the acronym for what combat sport? Tomorrow's the first day of spring, everybody. I'm wearing my springy outfit, my springy jewelry. Created by a YouTuber, small YouTuber, Alicia, matching bracelet, matching bracelet and earrings. It's my springtime jewelry because tomorrow's the first day of spring by Alicia, One Peaceful Mind, Alicia, One Peaceful Mind channel. Yeah, Mumu Ku, you go, uh, hold on. Let's see who got the answer first. Not Mortal Kombat. Yes, Cliff got it with Mixed Martial Art. Wait, is it Mixed Martial Arts? I think so. Hold on. Yes, that's it. Mixed Martial Arts. That's right. Cliff got it. And Cliff owns one of my pieces of artwork. Yes, he's an old friend. Mixed Martial Art. That's right. And on my screen, it shows Cliff got it first. My screen is going to show different than other people's screen. Everybody, has, the sequential order of who answered first might show different on your screen than my screen. Every screen is going to show it different, a different order. Oh, my goodness. I think this is super easy. You're going to have to type fast. What country is famous for chocolate, banks, and watches? What what country is famous for chocolate, watches, and banks? Chocolate, banks, and watches. What country is famous for cho their chocolate, banks, and watches? No, sorry, Mumuku. Nope. No, not Belgium. Switzerland. <laughs> oh, you heard that? Oh, my husband gave the answer away. It's Switzerland. Sorry, my husband. Did you hear that? Never mind. The answer was Switzerland. That We don't count that. Never mind. Nobody gets that point. Nobody gets that point. Next one is a, a question about grammar. Grammar. What? Okay. What part of speech is the word cuddly? Like cut, like cuddly, C-U-D-D-L-Y. What part of speech is the word cuddly? C-U-D-D-L-Y. Like to be cut cuddly, cuddly and cuddly. What what part of speech is that? What part? It's a grammar question. No, not adverb. It's not an adverb. Good, good guess. Good guess. No, not action. Not action. No, not adverb. Okay, hold on. Mumuku got it first with adjective. Yes, it's an adjective. It's an adjective. If it would have been a verb if it was just cuddle, C U D D L E. If it was just C U D D L E, yes, it would have been a verb, but it was cuddly. Cuddly, that's a that's an adjective. Mom Mumuku got it. Okay, you guys have good guesses. That's good guesses. Okay, this what was Victoria Beckham's nickname 
when she was a part of the girl group, the Spice Girls. Okay, uh, what was Victoria Beckham's nickname when she was a part of the girls' groups, the Spice Girls? What was her nickname? Oh God, I I don't know this because I don't I don't I don't know that part. Is uh, maybe some of you know this? Oh, let's hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who got it first? Who got it first? Moo Moo Koo got it first. Hey, I thought you said you have slow internet. I thought you said you have slow internet. Yes, Moo Moo Koo got it first with Posh. Posh. Posh Spice. Awesome. I would have never known that one. I don't keep up with that. Yes, on my screen it showed Moo Moo Koo came in first. Hi, Short Shannon Show. Oh, we have a member. We have a member in here. The Short Shannon Show. He's a he's a very he's a valued channel member, and his channel link is listed down below. His channel link is listed below. Oh, hello, Emotion. Great music channel. Great music channel. Emotion. He's a music channel. Awesome. You guys can jump in any time. You can jump in any time with this. We're playing general knowledge trivia. Oh, do we have 15 thumbs up yet? 15 thumbs up for 15 thumbs up for the crazy happy wacky dance. Here we go. Yeah, Cheetah says, bust a move. Yeah, bust a move. Oh, wait, hold on. Field John Castillo, where where are you from? Your first name, F-I-E-L. So, F-I-E-L, um, are you from a different country than, than the United States? Are you international? Because we this is very international live stream. We have Mumu Koo from, coming to us from Venezuela. Oh, let's see. Other people are here. Most Oh, I guess most people are in here from the United States. Usually I have a very international live stream. Okay, so I think we only have inter we only have Mumu Koo coming to us from Venezuela. Can the short Shannon show come up? I don't know. It, it depends. Because. Huh? I don't stop asking that same question. No, that's spamming. I'm gonna have to delete this. Oops. I have to delete your your questions. Thank you. What? Deleted by artfully yours. Wow, what happened? Yes. You you were at you can't ask the same question over and over and over again. That's called spamming the chat. You can't spam the chat. Wait, what? I didn't press timeout. I put him in timeout. I was just trying to give him a warning. Alec, I didn't I don't know what happened. Wait, let's see, hold on. I didn't press that timeout thing. I don't know what happened. I didn't press that timeout thing. And I can't get you out of timeout. I, there's not, I can't reverse that. I can't reverse that. That's a mistake. That is a mistake. I did not mean to put you in timeout. I only wanted to give you a warning. I only wanted to give you a warning, Alec. 
because he can still listen. He can still hear this. I only meant to give you a warning. I didn't do that. That's a mistake, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. And I cannot reverse that. Okay, sorry about that. Let's let's continue with the game. Okay, hold on. I'm very sorry about that. We have Mumu Koo on the board with three. Mumu, what is? Hold on. Mumu Koo is on the board with three. Sunshine Sunshine has one. Cheetah has two. And Cliff has two. Mumu Koo, you're winning with three. Who wrote the novel? Who wrote the novel? Robinson Crusoe. Crusoe. Who? You might have to answer this one fast because I maybe a lot of people know this. Who wrote the novel? Robinson Crusoe. This is not correct. I think they have a uh, dis, dis forget that forget that question because I cannot I think their answer is wrong. No, never mind that question. We're going to go on to another question. Okay, what is the only US state to end in the letter G? What is the only US state to end in the letter G? There's only one U.S. state that ends in the letter G. What is that? No, none of them are right. Make room, make room for me. The board. I can control it on the community page. Oh, oh, let's see who got it first. You guys all have this right. Hold on, hold on. Okay, my screen's gonna show different than your guys' screen. And on my screen, it shows that Mary Lou came in. No, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Moo Moo Koo came in first with Wyoming. Moo Moo Koo with Wyoming. Yes. Moo Moo Koo, you're winning. I thought you said you had slow internet. You're winning with four. I don't know if Cheetah's still here. I don't know if Cheetah is still here, but okay, hold on. Let's go to the next question. What actress played Vivian? Vivian, V I V I V I V I A N. Which actress played Vivian in the 1990 film Pretty Woman? Oh, everybody probably knows this one. Who played Who played Pretty Pretty Woman in that movie? Who played Vivian in that movie Pretty Woman? Oh, he is Cheetah is here. Oh, you're refreshing a lot. That's helping. You're refreshing a lot. That is helping. Okay, yes, it's Julia Roberts. Who got it first? Shannon got it first with Julia Roberts. He's on the board now. On my screen, it might show different on yours, but my screen shows Shannon. Sure, Shannon got it with, with Julia Roberts. Hi, Alec. Welcome back. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that happened. Sorry, Alec. Sorry that happened. I'm glad you're back. Mm. 
What's what country is the sports apparel and accessories company Adidas from? What country is the what country is the sports apparel and accessories company Adidas? A D I D A S Adidas. What kind? What what country does Adidas do the uh, sports the sports apparel and accessory accessories company? where adidas come from what country oh let's see who not the uk no not australia not australia oh feel john is on the board with uh, john is on the board with germany okay first point on the board john castillo you're on the board you're now on the board with your first point yes it's Ger the answer is germany Yes, Germany. Okay, I have to take a I'm sorry, I have to take a restroom break. I think I've been on I've been on here for an hour or longer. Okay, I got to take a restroom. I'm going to play the countdown. I'm going to play countdown music and I'll, I'll probably be back before 5 minutes. I'll probably my countdown is for 5 minutes, but I'm probably going to be back before 5 minutes. So hold on. I'll be back before five minutes.
Oh my goodness. Flooding the chat with emojis. I had to go down. I had to go downstairs and get water too. My my water. Okay, let's see. Who is this? Oh, my friend Alicia used to, she floods the chat when she comes here. She floods the chat with emojis. Okay, that's enough emojis. Alec, that's enough emojis. Don't, don't, get, don't put any more emojis, please. Thank you, Mubuku. She says, welcome back. Thank you. Okay, have a good weekend, Alec. Bye. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You don't see any emojis? Put it on live chat. Really? There's like 50. He put 50 emojis in twice. So please, uh, I mean, put it on live chat. Let me see if I'm on live chat. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got to make sure I'm on live chat. Yes, I'm on live chat. Put it on live chat and then you'll see everything. You are? I don't know why you didn't see. He put he what? No emojis. Well, anyway, he he put in twice he did two entries of like 50 emojis each. Yes, he did that. 50, I don't know why you didn't see that. What did I make? <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to read a message, an important message from somebody that I was waiting. I was waiting their answer on. I was waiting on their answer. So I'm glad to got. I got this. I'm glad. I, I'm happy about the answer I got. Affect my channel. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, you see them now, Mumuku? Oh, I've heard that. I've heard that, that like the emojis aren't they're not I know. I know I heard that life some hosts don't like people. I've never had a problem with it, but I don't know. Maybe I should limit it because I have a friend who comes in here and she and she often floods the chat with emojis. Is it a friend of mine? But maybe I should start telling people because I I hear hosts at other live chat of other live streams and they tell their people don't don't um put tons of emojis in. Yes, Shannon. He he. Alec came back. Alec came back and. And was in here for a while, and he and they he put a bunch of emojis in, and then that then he said he had to go because his oh three maybe I'll start doing that. I don't know. I um I used I had a friend that used to come in here a lot and flood the chat with emojis, and I never had repercussions from it. I never had repercussions from it, but I I I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to start limiting it. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go to the next one. What num what numeral system do the numbers one, two, three, four, five represent? What? Oh, never mind. Never mind that question. That's uh, that's a weird question. What does an alchemist try to create? 
What does an alchemist try to create? Oh, I never knew that one. I never knew this. What does alchemist try to create? Let's see if some of you know this. I, I would never know this. Oh, let's see who got this. Hold on. Moo Moo Koo got it first on my screen with gold. I think she's the only one that said gold. Yeah, Moo Moo Koo, that's right. She's winning. She thought her internet was too slow. Look at her. Look at her. Go, girl. Go, girl. <laughs> the answer is gold. Okay. What word is used to refer to a musical recording? that has been stolen from a music studio during a recording session and illegally distributed. <laughs> That's a long question. I, okay. What word is used to refer to a musical recording that has been stolen from a music studio during a recording session and illegally distributed? Okay, waiting for an answer to come in. What's going on? Nobody's answering. Maybe I need to refresh. I don't know if I didn't know if I need to refresh or not. Yes, Moo Moo Koo comes in with the answer. I thought Sure Shannon would know this. Yep, Moo Moo Koo, you got it with bootleg. That's it, bootleg, bootleg. I thought Sure Shannon would know that one. If he's around, maybe he let, stepped away. What, oh, this one's easy. What would Bo, what was Bobby Fisher except, exceptionally good at? What was Bobby Fisher exceptionally good at? I'm not going to give a hint. Fifteen, fifteen times. Wait a minute, fifteen. Did I already play Happy Dance with that? Sure, Shannon got it with chess. Yep, Sh sure, Shannon got it. Chess, the game chess. That's right. That's right. What river in north? What river in northern India is the most sacred river to Hindus? What river in northern India? is the most sacred river to Hindus. Did I play the happy dance at 15? Thumbs up. Anyway, let me play the happy dance again for 15 thumbs up.
Yes, Mumuku got it with the Ganges. Yes, the Ganges River. Mumuku got it. She came in first with it. Well, she's the only one that came in with it. Okay, hold on. Let's next question. What country was the notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar from? What country was the notorious drug dealer Pablo Pablo Escobar from? What country? No, good guess, Mary Lou. Nope, no, Mary Lou, but good guess. Not Mexico. It's not Mexico. Uh, no. No, it's not Venezuela. Oh, she's saying it's not Venezuela. No, it's not Venezuela. Nope. Mumuku got it with Colombia. Um, what ingredient do people with what ingredient do people with celiac disease have to avoid in their diet? Oh, I think I think people might know this one. What ingredient do people with a celiac disease have to avoid in their diet? What ingredient do they have to avoid if you have celiac disease? And it's spelled C E L I A C, the celiac disease. Oh, uh, let's. Mary Lou got it. Mary Lou got it with gluten. That's right. Oh, I have to put Mary Lou on the board. Mary Lou goes on the board. I can't fit you. Hold on. No, not celery. See, oh, she, oh, that was your guess. No, oh, no, no. Oh, I started streaming 96 minutes ago, an hour and a half. Okay. The Great Pyramid of Giza. Oh, my goodness. There I go again, reading the answer, not the question. Ah, okay, okay, never mind that question. What is the name of the lion cub who is the main character in Disney's animated classic, The Lion King? What is the name of the lion cub who is the main character in Disney's animated classic, The Lion King? I don't keep up on things like that. I wouldn't have known. You guys probably know. Not Kimba. Sorry, not Kimba. Oh, Mary Lou got it with Simba. Mary Lou shows up first on my screen with Simba. Yeah, Mary Lou. Mary Lou with Simba. Who discovered penicillin in 1928? Who discovered penicillin, the antibiotic penicillin? Who discovered penicillin in 1928? I would never know this one. Ax 
actually no it's not mary it's not mary something i thought it's i thought it was something like that too no it's a man it's a man i thought it was a woman who discovered i thought it was a woman who did no oh, nope it's a man oh uh, this one's probably too hard for everybody no oh i nope no not louis pastor he discovered pasteurization no see if anybody else makes some guesses Oh, I'm probably going to have to uh, skip. We're about to skip this one. I thought it was a woman. I know. Okay, let's skip the, the the answer was Alexander Fleming. I've never I you know what? I wonder if they're wrong. Okay, but that's what they say, Alexander Fleming. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Nobody gets that one. What unit is used to measure humidity? What unit, U N I T, what unit is used to measure humidity? Oh, it begins with P. What unit is used to measure humidity? It begins with P. Oh, God, <laughs> these are too hard. No, 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 not Fahrenheit. No, not barometer. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. That's going to be too hard. Let me just see if anybody else guesses. I think it's going to be too hard. Um, yeah, never mind. It's percent. So it's that one's easier than you think it is. Percent. Percentage. Percent. What percent is the humidity? Yeah, I know. That one's like easier than you th thought it was. Okay, hold on. Let, nobody gets that one. Hold on. Oh, my cards are flying. Who has... Who has won more tennis singles titles than Venus or Serena Williams? Who has won more tennis singles... Who has won more tennis singles titles more than V who has won more than Venus or Serena Williams? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Which one has won more? Is it Venus or Serena? Venus or Serena? Which which of the two have won the more won the won the most? Is it Venus or Serena? Okay, let's say. Billy G. Oh, sure. Shannon got it with Serena. That's right, Serena. Okay, good job. Yep, Serena. So let's see. Let's go over the score. So Cheetah has Cheetah has two. I don't know if he's still here. Cheetah has two. John John has one. Mumuku has eight. Shannon has three. Cliff Cliff was here. Cliff Note has two. 
And Mary Lou has two. So that's that's the, the current score right now. Christopher Columbus and his crew in 1492 sailed the ocean blue in in what three ships? What are the name what are the names of the three ships that Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Okay, wait. I know that's a long answer you got to type out. It's a long answer. We're gonna. I guess it's gonna wait. Take a while for people to get their answers in. It's a long. It's a long name. It's a long. You got to type in three words. Yes, Mary Lou got it. Mary Lou. Yes, Nina Pinta and Santa Maria. Nina Pinta and Santa Maria. What state is Duke University located in? What state is Duke University located in? Oh, I would never got that one. What state is Duke University located in? Shannon got it. Shannon got it. Yep, Shannon got it with North Carolina. Shannon came in first with it. What? What iconic... What iconic brand does the acronym DKNY stand for? What iconic brand does the word What iconic brand does the acronym DKNY stand for? What does DKNY stand for? What iconic brand does What iconic brand does the acronym DKNY stand for? Oh, that's another long answer. Oh, that's your home state. Oh, Shannon was first with Donna Karan, New York. That's right, Donna Karan, New York. Shannon's creeping up. He's creeping up. He's creeping up on everybody. He's creeping up on Moo Moo Koo. He's creeping up on Moo Moo Koo. Who was Kurt Cobain married to when he died? Who was the, the rock the rock musician Kurt Cobain? Who was Kurt Cobain married to when he died? Just discount New York. Huh? Oh, Shannon got it. Shannon shows yes, Mary Lou got it too, but um she came in second. Um, she, uh, on my screen, it shows that Shannon came in first with Courtney Love. What? Who, who is Mark David Chapman? Mark David Chapman, what is he known for? What is he what is he what is he known for? Mark David Chapman, who what is he known for? He's known for something bad. Mrs. Cobain. <laughs> Mark David Chapman, what is he known for? He's known for something bad. What is it?
us hi sleaze deck rules welcome nice to see you yes mary lou mary lou got it she, he killed john lennon that's right he killed john lennon he mary lou got it welcome sleaze deck rules you can jump in anytime What is the Pink Panther? What is the Pink Panther that Inspector Clout? What? What is the Pink Panther that Inspector Clouseau searches for in the film of the same name? What is the Pink Panther? Never mind. I can't. I didn't. Even, I can't even understand that question. Okay, let's go to the next one. Who's to be, who's to be his friends? Ron Wesley. Oh my goodness, I would not know this one. Oh, you guys might know this one. Whose two best friends are Ron Wesley and Harmione, Harmione Granger. Gr Granger. Hermione Granger. Whose two best friends? Are Ron Wesley and Hermione Granger. Yeah, Shannon got it with Harry Potter. And yeah, yes, even even though I did I skipped that question. Yes, um they got you you did answer correctly with the diamond, but never mind, I skipped that question. Shannon, Shannon got it with, Shannon got it with, um, Harry Potter. What type of race in swimming combines four different, what type of race in swimming combines four different swimming styles? Ooh, I, oh, I would never know this one. So what type, what's the name of the race? In swimming, which combines four different swimming styles. Oh my goodness, I would not know this one. What's the name of the race? The, the type of race that combines four, four, four styles of swimming. No, not freestyle. No, no, that's not, no. Dumbledore. No. Aquatic? No. No. Okay, it begins with M. M as in Mary. It begins with M as in Mary. No. Sleeve sex just trying to be funny. No, not marathon. That's a good guess. No, not marathon. No, not multiple. Should I just never mind? Not never mind. We'll skip that one. It's medley. Medley. M E D L E Y. Yeah, never mind. Nobody got that one. What type of race in swimming? Oh, I just read that one. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. What is the second highest mountain? Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the wor world. What is the second highest mountain in the world? What's the second highest mountain in the world? Mermaid super speed. <laughs> Mount Rushmore? No. <laughs> no, not Mount Rushmore. Mumu Koo got it with K2. That's what it's called. K2. That's right. It's just called K2. That's right. Mumu Koo got it. Where's my marker? Oh, must have fell. Mumu Koo got it.
Oh, just a minute. I'm trying to find my marker. Oh, here it is. Mumuku's winning with nine, but Shore Shannon's giving her a run for his money with seven. Everybody else has two or everybody else has two. Oh, let's see. Mary Lou has three. I'm sorry. Mary Lou has Mary Lou has four. Mary Lou has four. No, not McKinley. That's a good guess. It's called K2. Oh, wow. The K2 was in the movie Left for Dead with John Cusack. No, that was the K-12. No, it was probably K-2. It's K it, it is Shannon in the movie that was probably K-2 because the, the answer is K-2. Okay, hold on. What does what does FAQ stand for? What does FAQ? What's an what does it's an acronym for what phrase? It's an acronym for a phrase. What phrase? FAQ. What's that? What's that an acronym, a commonly used phrase? What is it? Shannon got it. Yes, yeah, Shannon got it with frequently asked questions. Who was the Soviet Union's final president? Before the Soviet Union broke up, who was the Soviet Union's final and last president? Oh, okay. Hey, Sleesack Rule, you can get your question, you can get your answers in faster if you refresh. Refresh your screen and make sure you're on live chat. And then you can get you can get your answers in faster. Refresh your screen. That makes all the difference. It made Mumu Koo, who has slow internet, made her get her question, her answers in faster. No, not Merkel. Good guess. No, not Merkel. Not Lennon. No, not Lennon. Not Merkel. No, not. Wait, let me see what the person. You have to give the last name because Boris isn't Boris a first name. But anyway, let me say. No, that's not even his first name. No, not Boris. Not Boris. There we go. Mumuku got it with Gorbachev. Borg Gorbachev. Yes, Mumuku got it. Mumuku's winning with ten, but Shore Shannon's giving her a run for his mo her money with seven with with eight. How many bones? How many bones are in the human body? How many bones are in the human body? I don't know this. I didn't know this. I learned it, but I forgot it. No, not 132. All of them. Loads. <laughs> No, not 132. Not loads, not all of them. No, not 347. Nope. Okay, I'll give a hint. It's in the 200s. It's 200 something. No, much more than 32. No, not 565. I gave you a hint. It's 200 something. Nope, nope, not 237, not 262. 
Good guesses, good guesses. Lower than that. Less than that. Less than 262. Much less than six to much less than 262. Yes, it's an even number. How did you know? I, close. 202 is close. That's getting hot. That's getting hot. 210. It's between it's between 202 and 210. Yes, it's between 202 and 210. Mary. Two oh six. Mary Lou got it with two oh six. Mary Lou got it with two oh six. Mary Lou has five. What sport is depicted in the logo? The fashion. What sport? What sport? Oh. What sport is depicted in the logo of the fashion brand La Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren? What sport is depicted in that logo of Ralph Lauren? The brand Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren? What sport is depicted? Shannon got it with polo. Flea stack rules at this crap. Last I looked, I had 380 bones. <laughs> okay, on my screen, on my screen, it might be different than your screen. My screen shows Shannon got it first with Polo. And let's see. Well, lacrosse. Oh, lacrosse is a good guess. Okay, I guess I'm gonna stop now because I'm I gotta eat dinner. So the winner is Mumuku. Mumuku with ten. Second place was Shore Shannon with nine. Wow, Mumuku ten, and Shore Shannon with nine. And Mary Lou is five. Mary Lou is five. And other people, I don't think they're even here anymore. They had two or one or two. Yeah, I got to eat dinner now. I'm hungry. So thank you so much for joining me during for this. And... Yeah, you won. You thought your internet was so slow. Then I taught you. Then I you just started re refreshing more, and you got you got it. Uh, yeah, Slee Stag zero. Hi, Gracie. Oh, you just joined us at the end. Have you been lurking, Gracie? Have you been lurking? Because now we're just ending now. The winner is Mumu Koo. Oh, the blind guy show is here. I didn't see blind guy, blind guy show. I didn't know you're here. Hello, blind. No, is blind guy show here? If blind guy show is here, hello, hello. I missed you. Sorry, I miss seeing you. Come in. Oh, it made your day. Awesome. Oh, Cliff is here. Cliff Note's here. Oh, Cliff Note was still here. I don't see blind guy show. Okay, if he's here, hello, hello. Yeah, you never know when I'm gonna do an impromptu. My regular scheduled live streams are Thursdays, Thursday mornings, uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my scheduled one, but I do impromptu, like this was an impromptu today. You never know, maybe on the weekend I'm gonna do an, another impromptu. Bye. So, 
Well, Mumu, Mumu, because you're international, I cannot send you art because that's too expensive to send it international. I can't send stuff international. Do, um, do you want me? You want me to run run watch hours? Since you're the winner, you want me to run watch hours uh, like a playlist? You want me to run one of your playlists? Okay. Yeah. Later. Later, Shore Shannon. Yeah, Mumu, you want me to you want me to run one of your playlists as as um as a, a as a prize for winning since I can't send you artwork. Okay, Mumu, let me know. Let me let me see what you said. Send it to someone there. Send it to someone there. With love from you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who. So, okay, you don't want me to run what? You don't want me to run your run a playlist for you. You don't need watch hours. I thought you need watch hours. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't. Oh, that's right. Um, you're not concerned with that. Okay. Okay. Bye. To Mary Lou. Oh, Mary Lou. Mary Lou. Oh, God. How can I contact you? Are you on Instagram or anything? Mary Lou, are you on Instagram? Or, I don't know. How can I contact you? Oh, okay. Nope. You have no playlist yet. I don't know. Is Mary Lou still here? I don't know if she's still here. Okay. I don't know if she's still here. Okay. But so bye everybody. Okay. Keep an eye out. I might do an, another impromptu this weekend. I love playing. I love doing trivia. So play. And I'm, I have not gotten through all my cards yet. Trivia cards. I have many. It's a huge deck of trivia cards. Bye. Bye. Maybe I'll see you again this weekend. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, how many people are here? We Maybe we could do a raid of Tuber Chat. Can we? I don't I don't know if we have enough people. I don't know if there's enough people in the stream. To, never mind. I don't think we have enough people to do a raid. I, I guess we don't have enough people. Bye, bye.